Hi, I'm super excited about our workout this week. So we're going to be doing bridges together. Um, I'm going to do them very similarly to the way I teach them when I am giving a class. So uh, they're going to be a little bit longer. They're not going to be um, as many breaks, but there will be um, a different combination. And so we'll be doing those together. And then you'll have a video at the end of your workout, which will show you how to do the 90 degree leg lifts. So let's get started on the bridges. So we're going to lay down on we're going to lay down on our backs and hands are going to be down by our side. You're going to have your feet a comfortable distance from your rear end. Knees are in line with the hip bones. Upper body is relaxed down on the ground and we're just going to lift our hips up and down. Remember we keep our hips nice and low. We keep our back relaxed. We're having the lift come right from the hips. We're not doing any straining of our back. Just lifting up, we're sucking our abs in, making a vacuum. We want to train our abdominal muscles to be in the position in which we want them to be in permanently, and that would be in the flattened position. So you always want to have your belly button pulled to your spine, core is engaged, that way you will have your muscles in a flattened position and that's how you're building them. You're building them to strengthen them in that position. Lift and lower and lift and keep that back down. Let's go eight, down, seven. When I say down, I just mean hover. Six. Hover above the ground, five, and four, three, two, hold the hips up. We're gonna lift the heels off the ground, both together, and down, and lift, and lower, and lift, lower, abs sucked in, nice and strong, lift, lower, lift. The hips are staying up, they're not moving, it's just the heels up and down. We're working the belly of the calf, which is right in the center of the calf muscle. This is a great way, this is a great way to work the calves because we're not having any weighted pressure on the Achilles or on any of the bones of the feet. So or the knees. And so that's really it's a really really healthy way to work your calf muscles and get them nice and strong. Also it's strengthening the arches of the feet. We're warming them up for when we stand up and do any of our activities for our Tabata. Lift and lower. Here's four three, abs sucked in, two, hold it up, small pulses, lift, 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 keep the hips down. Now what I don't want to see is I don't want to see little bunny rabbit pulses and that means I don't want to see quick movements because when we do quick movements that means that the, mo the momentum is doing the work for us. It's not the muscles that are actually working, it's the momentum. So we really need to make sure that when we're lifting it's small and controlled and lift and lift and lift. Abs sucked in again, squeezing the glutes from the side, engaging the legs. Everything's working. The whole lower body is engaged, including the core. And lift, and lift, and lift, lift. Let's go eight, and seven, six, keep breathing, five, and four, up on those toes, three, last two, Last one, bring it all the way down. Bring the knees into the chest and just stretch them out. Good, that's set number one. Set number two, toes are out to the side. Feet are out to the side like little ducks. Hands are down by your side. Abs sucked in and lift and lower again. Mid back is down, protecting that back, keeping it nice and healthy. Lift and lower and again, we want the work to be coming from the glutes, the hamstrings and the quadriceps. We want it really, really strong coming from this area, and lower, and lift, lower, lift, abs sucked in, lift, lower, lift, let's go eight more, eight, down, seven, and six, make it hover, drive with those heels, and four, and three, two, hold the hips up, we're going to lift one heel at a time, right heel, left heel, Right heel, left shoulder, just alternating right, then left, abs sucked in, right and left, right, left, right, left, keep going, lift, 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 abs pulled in, here's eight, seven, six, five, keep the back down, and four, here's three, and two, both heels together, slow up and down. Take it, lift and lower and lift, lower 
lift, toes are out. Now with the toes out and the legs wide, you're engaging more of the outer part of the glutes, outer part of the legs, as well as the inner thighs. And down, lift and lower back is relaxed. We're breathing, getting oxygen to these muscles. Lift, abs sucked in, belly button to spine. Four more, take it four, three, two, hold it up on the tippy toes, small pulses, lift, lift and control. Always we're in control of the movements, making them nice and small. Lift, lift back down, keep that back down. Suck those abs in and lift and lift and lift. Let's go eight more here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two knees in and out. Now take it in and out. You're still on the tippy toes. Knees are coming in and out and in and out, keeping the hips up and in. You should really feel it on the outer glutes when you come in. You're squeezing the knees together. Take it eight, down, seven, out, six, abs in, keep breathing. Four more, four, three, here's two, small pulses center, last set, lift, lift, right here, right here. We have to do high reps in order to make changes. Gotta do high reps right here, back down, abs in, keep lifting, keep lifting. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last time, roll it all the way down, bring the knees into the chest, great job. Hold it on in, good job, nice work. All right, so there are our bridges and we will see you back for 90 degree leg lifts.